Sony A7S III was the ultimate camera that's designed for real-world filmmakers with customizable autofocus, precise image stabilization, and a low-resolution sensor that works in all situations without any limits on recording time. So naturally, a successor of it is in huge demand with the new sensor and autofocus system that Sony has to offer. Today, we got some exciting news about the Sony A7S IV that'll make you save money for it. So, what are the rumors and when can we expect to see the Sony A7S IV? Well, let's find out. According to the rumor, Sony A7S IV will feature a 24.2 megapixel full frame Exmor CMOS sensor. It's significantly upgraded over the A7S III, which only has a 12.1 megapixel sensor. This means the new sensor will be able to record more detailed shots and you can crop those without worrying about the visibility of pixel structures. Now, to process this much information, A7S IV will have the Beyond XR and the latest AI processing unit from the A7R5. We all know how capable this new AI processing unit is as it can do real-time recognition autofocus with seven different selectable target types including human, animal, car, and many more. In addition, this AI processing unit uses deep learning that can dramatically improve subject recognition over time. We're also getting the dual gain ISO and timecode support in the system which gives you the advantage of having two film stocks in a single camera. This powerful sensor combined with the processing unit will be able to shoot internally 4K at 120fps without binning. All the necessary video codecs including the XAVC-HS and XAVC-SI will ensure consistent performance and quality at bit rates of up to 600mbs. On the contrary, A7S III can record 4K at 120fps using the 1x1 pixel readout. With the larger sensor on the S4, we expect better performance overall. The 1080p 240fps super slow-mo will also benefit from the super fast sensor. There's no specific information if that 24.2 megapixel can record 6K or 8K, but theoretically, it's possible, as we've seen with recent Sony releases. Besides these, A7S IV will feature S-Log for Gamma and the display assist function in the system to help users in post-production. Another significant improvement we will see is in the latest stabilization system. Its 5-axis image stabilization has IBIS up to 8 stops. This combines a high-performance gyro sensor with an optimized algorithm for more precise shake control. The EVF will also have improved 3.68M dots with a 120fps refresh rate which makes it a whole lot better than the A7S III. The 3-inch tilting LCD monitor is also suitable for filmmakers and dual UHS-2 SD card slots to support that ultimate recording time. Other nifty features like built-in Wi-Fi with NFC, ISO ranging from 100 to 200, 4800, and almost 2 hours of battery runtime make it a lucrative deal overall. So, when do we expect to see the Sony A7S IV? Well, it took 5 years for Sony to bring out a successor Sony A7S III. Usually, it takes 2 years for them to bring successors for each model and if the insider talks are correct, then we may see Sony A7S IV sooner than you think. According to the rumor mill, Q3 of 2023 is the time frame when Sony will release the camera. And we believe it's high time we see a more videography-centric camera within an affordable budget. Sony A7S III is undoubtedly an effective tool for professional videographer workflow. We've been using this camera since its release and it has served us well to say the least. Hopefully, Sony will make the A7S IV worth upgrading over its predecessor. So, what do you think about the upcoming Sony A7S IV? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below.